Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this tutorial video I what I want to show you the example or scenario for the date value function as to when it can be useful right uh, and the uh, whole idea behind this the state value function it converts the date text into date so whenever let's say you are bringing the date and it is coming as a text you know it to convert into a date so that date value function can be useful but in this uh, in this video I want to show you another example as to what in other scenarios how it can be useful for you with that just a quick information before i go to the power bi that uh, this is the google sheet which i which is uh, for which the link is present in the description and uh, over here i keep the inventory of all of my video tutorials that is power bi related video tutorials so you can come over here filter or search any of my video very easily like you are looking for any dashboard related video and so on so very easily you can search jump on to the video using the link that is present in the column B right so that way you can bookmark and come over here whenever you need to reference or take let's say some inspiration or ideas from the uh, existing videos all right with that another quick piece of information about the data set which I use is this power bi superstore sales if you need this data set the data set folder link is present in the description where you need to come inside the power bi folder because there is a tableau folder and couple of others so in Power BI folder, I have the previously published Power BI dashboard files as well as the data set. So keep a watch on that. As I'll publish, I'll keep adding more files over here. With that, let me move on to the Power BI. Okay, so here we are into the Power BI. And let's say this is our sheet where, you know, we are capturing the information and this is the sample superstore sheet. And the scenario I wanted to give you for the use of uh, conversion of uh, text value into something which is uh, uh, which is proper date format is let's say a product launch date so for example you have this inventory or you have all of these transaction going on but uh, for reporting but you also want to capture let's say the date for uh, all of these different rows if the, this is what the scenario is so what you can do is you can create a new column for the date right and let's say the date is uh, 15th november 2022 or 2023 uh, because the 2023 is going on right now so uh, let's call it launch launch date is equals to date value and uh, 11 15 2023 and close it it's as simple as that it's a very simple function as you can see uh, but over here uh, like uh, it is present the value right you can simply click ok and based on the settings that we are having you are going to get it so right now what we have is a ddmmyy setting over here so what it gives you is the 15 jan 2023 it also coming up with the timestamp from here you can come and just choose the date and it will only shows you a properly formatted date uh, that is matching up with your existing let's say order date or ship date and so on and so forth so if this is what your scenario is you can use it you can provide the string value over here you can provide the field value if let's say in the field you are getting a text value it should convert it into a proper date value so that is one another function couple of other functions that are present or a custom logic is also present as to how you can convert the the text value into a date value but this is also another interesting function which is in the power bi that you should know for uh, date format conversion or date uh, text to date conversion with that, thank you so much for watching and I will meet you in the next video with a new topic.